Hello and welcome back my friends to Viking Conquest. We're playing as Olaf in the last episode. We had the sort of say prologue. Uh, it's time to get into this town. Um, I am aware of that game. I understand that this is the world map. Thank you very much for sharing that with me. So let's go in here. This is actually very nice done. Very nicely done. Now, let's go to the village center. I don't know if I can, like, say, pick an action. And uh, something will happen. We will have to see. Dog is a small fishing village on the coast of Frizz. The people here are hardworking and still very prosperous. Uh, awesome. I, I do. I know that this is uh, something for the keys. There's a riding trainer. Now, we need to find someone. And uh, mostly, we'll go for the people that are just standing still. It could be him. It could also be the, the, the weapons mod. No, this is the one we need to find according to the quest. A Toric. Could, could you, could this go away please? That, that annoying message there on the top. I don't want to exit it. Press F to pick up. Yes, okay. I, I know. Thank you. Uh, welcome to Dokina. Oh wait, you're the man we found in the sea. It's nice to see you. Most surely, I didn't dare hoping to see you alive again. That healer may yet prove worthy of the legends of his father. God rest his soul. Um, so I'm him. Ah, uh, that's one of Bomi Nesby. No doubt, my friend, rescuing others from distress at the sea is the duty of every fisherman. We found you on conscience, cling to a plank led by the tide. Unfortunately, you were not far from the coast. Or fortunately. Uh, we were traveling on the ship, the wooden wreck, and we were attacked by Vikings. That's the reason you found me in the seas. Um, yes, it's a landmade door many times because of the passage seeking the curse terrible ill. The father of the healer who has healed you was a man well known for his skill in many parts. A thousand of people left everything to come here. Now that that man has died and unfortunately his son does not have his father's magic. I'm sorry to hear that the wooden rick was attacked by vikings. What does this entire thing has to do? Now uh, my mother was sick and now she may be dead. Did you find? Yeah, the sea bring swollen corpses and wrecks to us shore sometimes but no one lately. Usually vikings take prisoners and sell as slaves. Horik, your ship was attacked by Sven Bullneck. Have you heard of the name before? His eyes widen. Sven Bullneck. Oh, oh my god. It's a miracle that you're alive. Sven is a murderer and his men are demons. He takes no prisoners, kills the whole crew and burns the ship with the corpses inside. He does not look for riches. Sven is more ambitious. Each year we pay a lot of money to him to leave us in peace. <clears throat> so... I killed my mother, now I need to kill him, tell me where I can find him. My mother has been doomed regardless. But yet he... He'll pay for attacking me, where's Sven? Hmm, so every option will go for him. This has this... this um, plumatic skill, so let's go for that one. Um, he looks frightened, you look Sven, are you crazy? You are not listening to me. Look around! See those men training there, they are hardened warriors sent by our Jarl. But they are to defend us from Sven's attacks. We are lucky other villages don't enjoy as much importance to the Jarl. Don't enjoy as much importance to No, no. You know nothing about Sven. Um, let's see, I don't know. It can help me kill Sven. Where is Sven? I want answers now. Uh, he rubs his hands nervously. Olaf, look at yourselves. You are weak, puny. Weak, puny. Almost dead just weeks ago. Saved by lowly fishermen. You lost all your po possessions. You don't have weapons, resources or men. I don't know where Sven keeps his hideout, but if you go there someday, you will meet your death. Uh, 
I see the determination in your eyes. Here, take these few coins and my advice along with them. Find a job and forget about Sven. Otherwise, feel free to ask the Jarl. Kemma, he might be able to help you. Okay. So, is that something we can do here? Now, we cannot protect this village from harm. We, we're just low. We don't have anything. So let's just leave. That, that message, that, that should be going away. I, I really didn't care about it. We can go for recruits, buy supplies. Let's just leave for now. Um, we'll move fastest. We got a, um, a hundred pennings. Yeah, let's not. So, where our notebook? Okay, that, that's kind of cool. So, every now and then we can just look at our notes. And, and see what has been going on. So, let's go. Oh, that that's um, <laughs> not that far away. Game difficulty warnings. At the current campaign level, half of the bandit parties will be stronger than the players. Upon spawning, they will have up to six troop. Okay, that, that is kind of good to know. We have a movement speed. We're we going all the way around. It does appear so. I'm kind of worried at speeding up, especially because of those bandit parties. We will, of course, at some point. There's some thieves going. Wow. He is running from the very man we need to find. He's over here. This is the one, right? Let's see. No, he isn't. He is not. But let him deal with everybody else. Everybody will run. We're going to be close to him. We we'll probably will be able to outrun those thieves. But we're there. We took the long round because we didn't want to spend our money. Tour the grounds. Wait there for some time. Let's go to the Lord's Hall. So this is the Jarl, and this is Gutti. Awesome name, mate. Awesome name. I'm Olaf. Hello. Nice to meet you. Love what they've done to the place. Do I know you? I'm at your service, sir. I am Jarl. Herod. 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 Her I'm the Jarl. <laughs> uh, a vassal of the Kingdom of Freeze and the Lord of Kelmut. So you are. I see you carry a nobleman's banner, but I don't recognize the device. Another culture come to grow fat on the leftovers of war, no doubt. Wow. You need to ask permission to recruit men in your land. Okay, we'll have to do that later. Um, Jornik is a good man, one of the few Frisians who have gained my esteem. If you come in his name, I will listen to you. Do you know the wooden rig? I traveled on the ship with my mother, but we were attacked by Sven Bulnak. Sven, the bloody tax merchant ship near our coast, near our shores, waiting for us to pay him every spring. But not this year. Do not worry. I'm gathering troops to hunt for him. Now I have things to do. Um, uh, yeah, he's my goal as well. Your goal? Who are you? Do you have ship? Do you have men? Um, now in truth, I lost everything, but I do not lack the courage to achieve my revenge. Well, I understand your desire for revenge, but I cannot help you. You need men and ships ready to fight, not desperate, poor, equipped orphans in mourning. This hunt is my life now. I can be presented. So, oh, we actually gain relationship with him. He looks very much like the man that heals us oh, because of the scar. Alright, alright, I see. I have an idea. Listen to me. You are indeed so motivated by honor. Alright. I can do this. I'll give you a place among the men who will face Fen if you prove your worth. He makes a sign of Odin to ward off bad luck. There's a problem I need solving. Not far from here is a monastery of Christians. Odin damned them, but uh, who have sent a request to entrance the land. Properties dispute. Honestly, I care little about their problems, but the king wants Christian priests happy to avoid Frisian rebellions. 
Anyway, my men are busy protecting important things like the people on the coast. So, you go in my name and make the arrangement that best suits my interest. The most important thing to is to keep the monks quiet. I do not want them to... I would do not want to them stirring up the people's versus rightful Danish dominion. Okay, I will not disappoint you. Okay, oh wait, oh wait, let me ask his permission. I do not know if I can trust you enough to take my men from my land and lead them into battle. Prove yourself worth it. So, we need more renown. Hmm. Don't think I have the necessary equipment to fight the thieves. But can we talk to you? Uh, my lord, I am a priest of Odin, the almost carrier of the dead, which is brave enough for us to rest by his side. The Vals of Valhalla. This is going to be difficult because I'm a Christian. We could convert, but that would really destroy the entire character that we've made. Okay, so. Where is this monastery? Near Donica. So we'll have to go back here. Uh, Willowboard is probably where we need to go. How expensive... There's just some sailors. How expensive is this? One penny. Okay, that wasn't that bad. I cannot speed up. That's a bit of a shame. So we might have to invest some points into a sailing. Can I recruit here? Ah, uh, forget it. I was worried about it. Take an action. Oh, you need 20 trips. Let's not do any actions like that. So okay, let's go to Willowbrot. So you arrive at the monastery, the place stretch, um, stretches out wide with a church, rooms for the monks and their servants. A large garden with livestock pens, this place certainly treasures health. Hmm. That is uh, quite expensive. Let's see the abbot. So... Solve near the monastery. Okay, monastery. So we need to go to the monastery, not to the abbot. Um, well, maybe not. I'm here to petition to y'all. Uh, to the y'all. Please explain what has happened. The abbot looks upon you down, unconvinced. I expected. Some other person, the Jarl, or one of his closest associates. May I ask who you are? Uh, my name is Olaf. Uh, I'm a devout Christian. Here we go. Welcome then. Listen to me. We need your support. The abbot, after rummaging through his books, draw out a letter to show you. Some weeks ago, a monk found this document in our archives. It is a letter where a previous lord, three generations back, donated land next to the monastery to us. You can read it. I don't know how to read, but... Frein... Front to the abbot that you already... I don't know how to read, just tell me what it is. Well, the document is right and proper with witness and donor name. The problem is that currently a family resides on that piece of land. They say the land is has been theirs for generations, but the monastery owns this plot. And we want them to leave. Well, that's very Christian of you. Um, well, call the her head of the family and the monk who found the document. I want to question them. So the abbot sends for a for all parties to come to the chapel, so that you can hear all sides of the story. For your part, you have advantage of the waiting time to observe the work. Scribe, okay. So we have some. No, we don't have any time. That's weird. so. This is the farmer. This is the monk, and the abbot. Farmer, greeting, sir. Thank you for your help. Um, this is uh, oh, 
tell me a story. I know nothing. I inherited the land of my ancestors. I don't have documents to prove it because it has never been necessary to prove it was mine. Um, you don't have anything. Okay. That's a bit of a bum of you. God bless you, I'm the monk who found the document. Uh, well, what... What more could you tell me about this document? I am just a scribe at the monastery. I copy the ancient Roman text. While looking for an old useless par uh, parchment to scribe and prepare another document, I found this. Tell me your story. That is really the same one. It's, it's actually both the same. Um. Hmm. The monk is trembling with fear. My God, so do not kill me. The abbot forced me to falsify the property deed. He wants this land, but please do not say anything. So, there is no land. What do you say here? Uh, the trembling of my God, my Lord, do not kill me. I will give the land to the monks if necessary, but spare my life. Now we have to think in the interests of the Jarl. And he doesn't want to upset the Christians there, even though he is pagan. So I think it is in the best interest of the Jarl if we... Well, have you talked to them? For us, these lands are very important and the Jarl's happiness, you must know. Uh, depending on yours, have you... Mm. Yeah... You lose reputation, reputation is minus four. But, okay, um, I'm sure you've made a right decision. Go back to the Jarl and advise him that we are very happy with the outcome. Oh, we'll tell the people that he is just and uh, just and devoted. Oh, and we'll have a little gift for you. Ah, uh, poor my relation. A little bit of a gift is a uh, a nice amount of money. So let's go to the ferry. Uh, wait for my men. Wait, what? I have men. Oh no, those are the fishermen. Let's go there. Let's go back to here. Let's go to the Lord's Hall. Oh, Olaf, yes. Um, I went back to the monastery and I've made things right in your name. Yes, I know the monastery sent a message with the news. They are happy with your decision and promise to speak well of me to the people. With this, take this reward. Thank you. What about our deal? May I join the hunt now? Uh, not just yet. Now I need you to do something else to prove your worth. This time... As a warrior, there is a rebellious Frisian called Tria who has been causing me a headache and I don't have the time right now to take care of him. I'll give you permission to recruit from my land. Also, I will send a letter to the king so he may likewise allow you to recruit men in Frise. This is what I want you to do. Take the silver and recruit 50, 15 men. The cheapest are village uh, idlers or refugees at the monastery. Sometimes spearmen are available at Farmstead. Once you have men, come back to me and I will... Okay, so we'll finally... He scratches his nose. Good luck. I don't trust him. We already gave us a touch. So we now have permission to recruit from his land. So... Ask for potential recruits. Three. For, um, yeah, he's... Ooh, what? How much? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, we got a nice amount of money there. I don't really need them right away. Now, what I want to do is, is we're going back here. We'll get it some... And, and then to Wilbroad. And we can hunt some of the thieves. Because I don't think I really want to spend too much time with just some peasants... Going around. Let's recruit. Oh, there's like a full one of them. Oh, wow. Thank you, game, for being so generous to me. 
Uh, there are some shepherds and farmers that's interested in joining them. So we got five farmers. Uh, could make them into warmen eventually, but I, I think they're even. They don't have weapons. They're also they're all skirmishes, huh? Ah, uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Uh, recruit. There's also one full guy we're wanting to join our party. So finally, we're starting to make a bit of an army. It's not much. So let's see if we can find some thieves like these three. Uh, fight me if you dare. Start battle holding position. Commander's options. You have to 50 or more men. Okay, that is kind of cool to know. Start a battle holding position. So use the, uh, yeah, okay, we all know that. Use one F1 to F4 for divisions. Uh, pressing enter key often initializes an overhead. Stretch the camera, so enter. Oh! Oh, wow. Um, okay, maybe not that wow. <laughs> okay, guys. You know what? Just just follow me. My stamina is high. Be mindful, guys. Stamina is in the game. Now, the enemy should be heading towards us. I'm so pleased that we're finally into battle. I'm hoping they have some equipment that I can use. They're up there. So, guys, hold this position. They are skirmishes. I should remember that next time. Hmm, they have some throwing weapons, two of them. Uh, let's go in here. Everybody charge before I go. I hate knives. Don't bring knives to a stick fight. It's always going wrong. It's so... The reach is incredibly horrible. Okay, you will be promoted, farmer. One swing, you knocked him unconscious. That is absolutely wonderful. Uh, we can recruit. So, the prisoners are tied to your uh, overall uh, company size. Share the loot. It's common. Take first claim on all loot. Leave the loot for your man. Let's share the loot. So, 13-4, we don't need that, we could use a little bit of a hat, uh, I hate slings, let's do the pole arm, pole arm, both, well this one is a bit better, I don't need sling, uh, sling rocks, well we could try it for a change, I've never done so to be honest, these are just mere stones. So do it like this. So we at least have something to do. We gain some money. That's always nice. Nobody is ready to be upgraded, huh? Here's Farmstead. Uh, there are some villages there. We'll definitely have to visit them. I believe that you can get people to work in salt mines. But I'm not quite sure about it. I think this will be the last fight that we'll have in this one. So with 8 against 6. Let's charge the enemy. This time, we have a band battle advantage of one. Uh, I'm, I'm missing how good the game looked before I changed some of the options. <laughs> but we'll have to do, especially once our army is growing. Oh, I'm so glad I can start fighting now. Man, all that reading. Okay, how does this go? So, overhead weapon. That's not bad. It's not fair, some of these guys are absolutely better equipped than I am. And I'm having a good, a, a, a very good uh, running speed. Can I hit one? No, this is not working out for me. He is absolutely doing a fine job. 
Well, they have all have sticks, so I'm not too worried that people are going to die. Okay, let's pull them a bit back into my men. Remember, I have a high, high iron flesh, and of course, my power strike is also not too bad. Okay, so attacking in the back will do more damage. I still want to do this. Come on, I did some damage. <laughs> Poor farmer got knocked in the face. No, the ruffian got knocked in the face. But we won. Uh, let's uh, let's get as much as we can though. Uh, it's common to do this. Anything better? We got um, some shoes now as well. No, same stuff. I kind of do like this one though. Um, it's this one is all slower. Let's just get everything. Oh, this is going to be nice if we sell it. Yeah. Anyways, guys, those were the few battles that we had. Um, next episode, I, I do want to check out the salt mine just to see what it does. And um, I'm hoping you have enjoyed this episode with me. Um, if not, do let me know what I could change to make it more appealing to you. What I what I didn't know is what we're starting up there. I, I always thought, thought where we were starting somewhere in in this. Uh, region to be honest Odin's cave Odin's huff But we'll get there eventually uh, We'll just start in my, my my own country In the Netherlands Well what soon will be the Netherlands instead of freeze But uh, thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed And I hope to see you next time Have a good one Bye bye